Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the Flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the Flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the Flutter and then the React Native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer we also have the course related to the full stack developer related to the uh, node.js express mongodb as well as the flutter over here and if you would like to join the uh, flutter bootcamp there is also a bootcamp course over here so make sure to go and check out the course over here there are free and then they paid codes and if you want to be a job ready flutter developer this is the course that you would want to take so see you guys on the next lesson till then have a great day yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and this is the uh, flutter clean architecture with the river part uh, project over here we will be building a flutter application using the clean architecture with the flutter river part over here and this is not a beginner course so if you are a complete beginner or if you are not uh, familiar with the flutter as well as the river part over here then this course is not for you so this is really not a beginner friendly course and if you want to learn some basic concept make sure to go and check out my other courses over here and you should be good to go with that one but for this particular course it is required to have some flutter development experience maybe a six months one year or even more than that would be good and also the um, the river pod or the knowledge of the river pod is required and if you are not sure about how to use the Flutter River Pod, make sure to go and check out my course on that one. I have a full course regarding the Flutter River Pod as well. And um, that's just the um, thing that you have to know about this. That is the pre-request for this particular course. So let us get started and welcome to the Flutter Clean Architecture course with the Flutter River Pod. So let's meet up in the next one. Till then, have a great day. And I hope you have done your homework already to go and publish it to the GitHub repo or any other repository that you prefer. But I'll be using a uh, GitHub over here. So for that, let's go over here and let's create the new uh, the service over here. And I'll configure it from the GitHub uh, app over here. Select your username and configure it. And from here you can select all repositories or select only the repositories that you want and just go and search for it and you can add it over here and I have already added one over here and I'll be using that one so, so I'll just go and uh, close this one and let's just go and create this one from here and I can select that one from here and once that is added over here i'll just drag this one to my particularly the group over here you can just go and create the new group over here and add it over here let's go and do this setup over here the first thing that i will do over here is let's go down over here and in the uh, enable the app sleeping over here to just to save some cost using the serverless architecture and i will just set it to one in case of the failure the restart time is only just a one time i don't want to go and um, unuse the resource over here and then you can just go and select if you are in the paid plan uh, like the pro version you can select a different one but for now i'll just make use of the uh, the west us west or uh, oregon over here and i also need to set the startup command over here that will be in the package.json and this is the command that we have i'll just run this particular command so for that let's just go and run the uh, npm run start that is what we have over here you can just take the command from here this is the start command so let's just go and add that start command over here and for the build i guess we'll just leave it as it is 
and networking currently we haven't get that one but uh, once we deploy it we should get that particularly the link over here and for the branch uh, currently we just have one main branch and if you have a multiple branch then you can select from which one uh, which branch that you would like to trigger a build over here and let's go to the variable what we need to do is let's go to the raw editor and in the raw editor over here you can just copy and paste your env variable or you can also just go and add a new variable uh, this you need to just go and add a multiple one but for now let's just go and copy it from our env over here and paste it over here so let me just copy from here and i'll just go and paste it over here and just update this one over here and once i have updated that that should be good enough only thing that i need to change is the uh, mongodb url and then the password and then the username so the rest will remain the same that you have configured locally over here it should remain the same only thing is that we need to update the mongodb so let's go to the mongodb and if you go to the setting and if you take a look over here the private variable or the private network setup uh, in the development we use this one that's because it's we need to connect it from the local development to this particular server since we are in this particular development uh, over here they are both hosted on the same network using the docker image so what i can do is i can just make use of the uh, private network over here and that can be of just uh, mongodb over here just copy this one or else you can just make use of this one or just call this one over here so let's go over here and go to the variable and go to the mongodb over here just go and edit that and just provide it over here oh uh, this is the user so this should be of the service and then the uh, port over here 27017 that you need to provide and then the password and then the user over here just check that one and make sure the port is the correct one over here you can get the port from the mongodb variable this is the port that we have and this is the user and this is the password so let's just copy the password and uh, let's go over here and then the mongodb password over here let's just go and uh, paste it over here that should be the one and once we have done that i guess we are good to go and now we can just go and deploy this one over here and that's going to take some time so let's wait for this to complete and you can see that we have a green check mark so let's go to the uh, development uh, deployment over here and go to the view log and you should see that the service should be running over here and you can see the service running and then the mongodb is connected successfully and uh, let's go to the mongodb over here and let's see the data that we have over here currently so we have some uh, users already created so let's just go back to our postman over here and in the postman let's just go to the collection so let's just open up our postman from here go to the environment over here and let's duplicate this one over here and this should be of the production so i'll just rename this one to the local to the uh, prod and here what we will do is we'll grab the url so now we should be able to get the url so the public okay so we need to generate the custom url or generate the, um, the auto generated domain or you can also create the uh, custom domain over here but let's just go and generate the uh, auto generated one over here this is for the internal use and this is for the public use so what i can do is i can just since this is generated so i'll just go and copy this one and i'll just go and try to open up this one in the browser and see if it is working that's cool so now it is working already so the web page is loading over here so what i can do is i can just go and copy this particular url and i'll just go and uh, paste it over here 
and I can just go and remove the forward slash from here okay so that should be good enough let's just go and save this one and let's just go back to the collection and in the sign up I'll just go and select my uh, the environment which is of the production that I just set it up over here and in the URL now you can see it's pointing to our production URL or the URL from our the app deployed over here so let's try to go and send the request over here and we got the duplicate here and I guess we have some up to it I'll just go and try to send the user 9 and let's try to create this one over here and let's wait and see so now we got the success result back from the server that's pretty cool so which means now our service is deployed successfully and now we can make use of the whatever URL that you have configured over here to make use in your uh, app over here so once we are building the application we can make use of this particular url you can also go and edit it if you want it but uh, since i'll be not using this one i'll just go and delete this particular service later on so i'll just keep it as it is over here so that should be good enough for us and so now we have successfully deployed our mongodb as well as our uh, web service or the express app over here and the service is running correctly and our website is or the web page is loading as well as the api is correctly loading over here which means now we can start working with our application so let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day